Hi, it's me again with Corolla Roll Tips and Tricks. Somebody's having trouble connecting these lines. And what I'm going to do is take away two of these nodes. And then I'm going to take that node and put it right on top of that node. And I see the problem already. There was another set of lines. So if we take this and then hit delete, kind of back up, make sure that it doesn't do anything else. And it, let me put it back. Yeah, it, it doesn't do anything else. There's a bad spot right there, but we can fix that. And then just take the virtual segment delete key and delete that line. Now, I don't know if he wants these connected, but it would be the same scenario. He is going to engrave it. That didn't really affect it. We could take, just delete those lines. Now, we've got some rough spots. And what I would do is just maybe take that and put it up there so that that was actually broken anyway. And then, you know, I would clean up around his uh, nostrils and his nose. I would maybe take the smoothing tool. That's a little bit big. Let's go 0 0.05 and just click on the item and just smooth it out a little bit. Um, I think I need to go a little bit bigger. The bigger you, the bigger your smoothing tool, and see, you can see some broken lines right there. So maybe that's where his problem was. He had double lines. So we can just delete those lines. And normally you could take the whole thing and just um, fill it in with the fill, but since we're altering it, I don't think it's going to work because we select it all and then left click fill. See, it doesn't, it, changes what we did because there were double lines. I'm actually going to take my shape tool and maybe just delete some of these nodes. See, there's the problem. So this is going to be the best scenario to uh, smart fill it anyway. Let's take away. See, there was a complete nose and a not complete. We'll actually move that over. Let's see what this looks like. Get the shape tool, kind of move it over. See, he's got double lines of everything. Now, there is a macro where you can get rid of double lines, but we don't need to do it. So then what I would do, if this was mine, this is it's pretty small. It's less than three inches. So he's got his nudge factor set on three. And so I would zoom in and take your smart fill tool, fill, fill uh, on black, fill that in. And I, you know what I want to do? It's a lot harder sometimes to kind of figure something out. So I'm going to group this together with control G or go up to object and hit group because this way you can fill it all in at one time. And then on the last one, uh, cause you, you know, if you, if you moved it right now, um, uh, you know, you don't know if you get it all, if you filled everything in pretty cool drawing and get back to the smart fill tool. We're going to leave one not filled and we're going to, what we're going to do, we're going to fill that, but we're going to nudge it over and then we can select that line and delete it. And then we can nudge that back a little bit funny on top of his head, but because now it's a smart fill, now we can left click, right click. And at this time I would either get the shape tool or the smoothing tool and maybe take out some of those nodes and make it make his head not so I mean we want we don't want to mess it up too much but uh, here again this is a still a group so we can move that over so now we can take the smart fill tool and something happened to his nose you know those lines weren't there so let's just delete them. And you could add more. I've got some stuff on my screen. I can't really tell. So now I'm going to use the smart fill tool again. We're complete. And I'm going to move it over. And because that line is still a group, I can delete it all and then grab my smart fill and put it back. Pretty cool drawing. I hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.